You gotta be able to take the heat. You need to learn how to separate you, the character, from you, the person. They all cheer for me? They cheer for the character. The character I play. The character I created. <clears throat> well, I, I think it's a, I do think it's a big mythic comic book style escape. It's heroes and villains. The lines are are usually fairly clearly drawn. You know who you're supposed to be rooting for in a match and who you're supposed to be rooting against. Um, and I think that, I think we, we like that that binary nature. It's nice to check into something uh, that's so simple where it's just like, great, here's the good guys, here's the bad guys. I know how I'm supposed to feel because the truth is real life, uh, the real world happening around us and our, the dramas of our own lives are just not that simple. Um, and, I, and I think that's part of why we're, we're drawn to stuff like wrestling. Well, maybe you should spend some time with Thomas. I haven't finished the script. We should win. Us. Absolutely. I, I think that, you know, we all, we all play characters to some extent. And, you know, the, the characters that our heroes play uh, are those manifestations of who they wish they could be. You know, maybe maybe Jack wishes he could be more of an outward uh, asshole uh, because then then perhaps it'd be easier to achieve his dream as a wrestler. And Ace, you know, he's he's the good guy in the ring because that's what he wants to be outside of it more than anything. What he struggles with, and so I think that that dichotomy is just interesting. Like Esau and Jacob. And the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb, and the elder shall serve the younger. Yeah, look, we, we've got a couple of cool cameos this season. It's obviously out there that, uh, that CM Punk's in the show. I mean, yeah, come on. I, I, I love, I mean, Ray Mysterio Jr. was one of my favorites growing up. I, I can think of so many guys that I loved watching, you know, it, it, it's with the, with the cameos and everything, it's like, you don't want to overwhelm the audience. You, you don't, you don't want it to start to feel uh, like, like that's overwhelming the, the uh, story of the show. Um, but I, I do think we'll pick our spots. And, and I think in particular that, that world of the luchadors and everything and the, the different international um wrestling cultures are are things that i would be really excited to explore as, as the show hopefully continues both a couple of losers like your old man come on come on let's go i think that that a really good villain um a really good villain is, is is somebody who who probably doesn't necessarily want to be a villain, and it and it's, it's somebody who is who's pushed to that by circumstance, by trauma, by misunderstanding, by insecurity, um, and where you just root for them to just get it right and to to figure it out and to say I'm sorry and to come around. Uh, and, you know, and like Lucy holding the football for Charlie Brown, they, they probably keep pulling one over on you. But I, but I think that's I think that's why we're so drawn to to villains is is there uh, the hope that maybe they'll redeem themselves. <laughs>